thinking, no, that this could not be happening to us. Let's go. Oh. Our little baby is gone. <laughs> Don't go inside the house yet. Well, uh, there's something I think you need to know first. Well, what's wrong? Well, look, I, I know you probably think I'm meddling, but I swear I am not. I just want you to be prepared first. Prepared for what? Why don't you come inside and I'll explain, all right? Can I get you something? Um, coffee, tea, something cold to Why drink? Why don't you just tell me what's going on? Michelle. There's no easy way to say this, Abby. Um, this afternoon she lost. She miscarried. What? Yeah. She lost the baby. Um. Oh. Um, I can't believe this. I'm... Does Rick know about this? I tried to call Rick and Danny from the hospital, but neither one of them could be found. I. I was there for her, though. I was there for my daughter. Don't worry. You know, Beth, I think this is going to be a special child. And I have to say, I'm not surprised, given who the parents are. But you know, I told Philip that I, I think that this is fate, that this baby is meant to save Missy. Oh, I think so, too. Maybe I need to see how Jim and Philip are doing. No, 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 Brick. Um, let's just, let's just give him a little longer, okay? I just want to give Philip some time to get through to Jim. Whoa, whoa, no, you are way out of line here, It's Val. not your child. It's not. You are not the father of this child. I am. I'm sorry. She didn't want you to know. She never wanted you to be hurt. And damn it. I was willing to try to live with that. But you didn't give me a choice, Jim. Philip, listen to yourself. You, ca you can't. You... I'm the father, Jim. Biologically and legally, I'm the father. So it's not your call anymore. It's mine. And we're going to do it my way. Oh, my God, Philip. God, you're so desperate to help save Lizzie that you'd say anything, wouldn't you? Yeah. Even this outrageous lie. Jim doesn't want the baby be the donor. Lizzie needs the donor right now. Mm -hmm. Now, we may have to go with Edmund, and I don't want to have to do that. Because her chance of rejection will go up. Ed, way up. I am so glad that Lizzie doesn't know about any of this, though. I'll tell you, I've been watching her for a few days, and she's tired. She's not I laughing think she's anymore. starting to give up. She's not yeah. laughing much. It's breaking my heart. And, you know, if we're lucky enough to get a donor, her immune system is going to be compromised. We've got to find a way to keep her spirits up. I can do that. How? I don't know. <laughs> but if you help me figure out a way, I'll make sure it happens. But whatever it is, it can't be too overboard because I don't want to make her feel self-conscious. Oh, so you I know guess what I mean? uh, the clown and the marching band are, are out then. Not necessarily. <laughs> no, whatever it is, it has, to, it has to just keep her spirits up. It has to keep her positive. All right, okay. That's all. All right, you know what? She's taking tests for a while. Uh, I got some time to grab some coffee. You want to you go talk about it? A company? Yeah. Let's go. You sure? Yeah. Okay. And don't just miss the marching band thing, because I think you'd look cute in the uniform. <laughs> 
Phil, I know how scared you are for your little girl. I know that. But, man, for you to stoop so low as to insult Beth and me... Then do it. Listen to me. Look, I, I'm just going to cast us all off to stress, okay? I can understand that. I'm, I'm going to get Noah. I'm going to tell him that we're not going to use the baby. We're, we're going to up. use the baby, Jim, because he's a perfect match. And he's a perfect match because he and Lizzie have the same parents. Beth and me. I'm sorry, Beth. I didn't have any choice. Hey, I said that was enough out of you, man, and I meant it. Tell him. Tell him, Beth. Tell him that I'm the father of this child. I'm sorry. I really am. You know, I didn't want this to happen. That's how desperate we are. And you would, you would do the same thing if you were in our place. You would. Just reconsider, Jim. Please, just, just forget what Philip said. Just do this. Do this, do this for me. Do this. Do this for us. This is the only way that we can survive with our lives intact. It is the only way that Lizzie can get well. And I know, I know that you don't want to deny her that. I know that you don't want to deny us that. I know that you don't. Deny us? Deny us? What, what, are, you, what, are, what are you saying? Just say yes. What are you saying to me, Beth? Just say yes. All you have to do is say yes, please. Say yes. Oh, my God. It's, it's true, isn't it? Philip's the father. <laughs> okay, so you were at the hospital with her. Yes. She called me. She tried looking for Rick and Danny, too, and she couldn't, so I met her at the hospital. She had been having cramps, and she was afraid something happened. Oh, she must have been so scared. Terrified. She broke my heart. I can't... Uh, they've been looking forward to having this baby so much. This last year was just... Uh, this was the only good thing that came out of it. It's been like this for their marriage their entire time, hasn't it been? I mean, one crisis or setback after another. Well, I... I don't... I thought that the worst was behind them. Okay. Thank you for letting me know about this. I think I should probably go. No, no, don't go there. Danny just came home and um, he's with her. Abby. I know this is probably not my place. Um, but I, 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 I gotta be honest with you about something. What? What Michelle went through this afternoon is probably the most horrendous thing women can go through. Danny should have been there for her, and he wasn't. I think it was selfish and extremely irresponsible of him. Well, Danny is neither of those things, so I'm sure if he wasn't at the hospital, he had a very good reason. Oh, I know what his reason was. He was out there with his goons looking for his mother's killer. That's where he was. Claire, I seriously doubt that. Michelle has told me that he's acting extremely different ever since his mother got shot. He's allowing himself to get sucked right back up into this criminal world, and he is hell-bent on revenge, I'm telling you. And Michelle is scared to death that something's gonna happen. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what caused it. Well, look, I, I, she's been under a lot of pressure, I know that. Wait, are you saying that you think it's Danny's fault that she lost this baby? Well, he put her in this position, didn't he? I mean, my God, the poor girl saw a woman shot right in front of her. If that's not traumatic, I don't know what is. He didn't want that to happen. For goodness sake! You know, but it happened, Abby. Because of who he is. And who he is clearly is not going to change. Which is why I think for Michelle's safety, we have got to get her as far away from Danny as possible. <sighs> what about you, honey? You think 
physically, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, they took care of me at Cedars, and um, I'm just supposed to relax for a little bit. Why didn't you tell me that you were having pain? Because it was just a few twinges, and it didn't even get worse until after... When? When? After Carmen was shot. And I fell. I wish you had told me. You should have told me. You should have... It, it went away. Until today, and I really thought that I was fine. I really did. And you had so much to worry about, and you were so upset, and I didn't want to add to that. Oh, come on. You should have told me. I wish I'm sorry I wasn't at the hospital. I would have been there. If I had known, I would have. I know. I know. I'm just glad you're here now. Was, who, was Claire with you at the hospital? How was that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was great. She really pulled through. Good. Hours I was talking to David Grant. I, oh, God, I wish I was with you. I wish I was with you. Son. I really wanted this baby. We had so many dreams of that wonderful life that we were going to give this child to three of us. And now I feel like. I feel like that may never happen. No, I don't say that. We'll have that life. I promise you I will. We will. We will. Okay. Okay. Let's put our little thinking caps on. What would really help Lizzie? Now, I don't mean just a small smile. It has right. to be serious laughter. Joy. All right. All right. You know? All right. All right. All right. I know what makes me laugh, no matter how miserable I am. What? The Three Stooges. Harley, all the old shows are on video now, and they're hysterical. We could do a, we could do a Three Stooges bear. What is it? What's wrong? I don't want to destroy you, but only men think the Three Stooges are funny. Poke me in the eyes. What? <laughs> don't be afraid. You're not going to hurt me. Okay. Poke me in the eyes. What? Miss me! <laughs> okay. Miss me again! <laughs> hey, Mo, where'd it go? Hey! Hey, Mo! <laughs> See, you think it's funny. No, it's I prove you're my funny. Point. Women don't know what they're missing. It's not funny. Yes, you're sir. funny. You'd be funny if you were saying ABCs and you know it. That's not true. ABCs. I knew you were going to Stop! <laughs> Stop. But this is what I'm talking I about. Know. This is the funny stuff I'm talking yeah. about for Lizzie. It's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> I'm scared. I know. <laughs> Gosh, you know, this kind of stuff, it really makes you realize what you take for granted, doesn't it? My children. baby. My daughter, who I never thought in a million years would be a part of my life. Mm. And I have got oh, the most wonderful, devoted husband in the world. I have been listening to you, Beth, and when I hear your voice and what I see in your eyes, it's just making me start to doubt everything I thought was true. Why can't you just do this? Beth. Now, I'm your husband. You look in my eyes. And if you have any shred of feeling for me, tell me. I love you. I love you. Then tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. Is this baby mine?
It happened when we were on the plane. We thought we were going to die. We were alone, Jim. We were, we were afraid. And I damn near died trying to rescue you, Beth. And then I asked you to marry me. And you said yes, and you never even told me that you slept with him. It didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. You got the guy's kid inside of you. You made me think it was mine. For nine months, Beth, nine months, you lied to my face every single minute of every day. No, I didn't. Jim, Jim, I love you, Jim. Oh, Jim, you make me so happy. God! Jim, you do make me happy. You know, you made me think it was mine. When you knew damn well that it meant so much to me to have a kid of my own. You know. And you still... Jim, every, everything that I've said to you, I've meant. I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt you like this. And that's why I didn't tell you, because... Because I don't want to hurt you. No, please, please. Jim, I can speak to you again. Hey, hey, look, it's not my decision anymore. Look, look, Beth. Beth, look, I hate to keep after you, but I need to know what you decided. Are we going to use the baby as a donor, or do we go to plan B? Beth. Okay. We're going to induce and use the baby. You can start arranging things with Dr. Sibyl. As, as much as I'd like to do that, Philip, I just can't go ahead and your say-so alone. I, I need the father's consent. You just got it. I really think you're overreacting. You were not there, Abby. You were not there today. You have not been here for the past two decades for her, Claire. You certainly haven't been here for this past year when she's married Danny, so you really don't have a clue to her relationship or how much they love each other. I hardly call his behavior this morning loving. He went berserk on his way to make his funeral arrangements for his mother. He went berserk right outside your kitchen door. Okay, fine. Just define berserk. What? He blew up at Michelle. I'm telling you, he took his vase of flowers and threw it all over the place, smashed it to smithereens. It was glass everywhere. He was like a caged animal. I'm telling you, he was completely out of control. I think you're overreacting. I am not you're overreacting. You're exaggerating. He has got a temper, Abby. Do you realize he's got a temper? No. He does. And what if he takes it out of Michelle? Oh, good Lord. Claire, that will not happen. Not in a million years. Hello, he adores excuse her. Excuse me, am I speaking the same language as you are? I just told you that Michelle could be in serious danger with this man. Are you just going to shrug it off? No. I don't believe you. Why not? Because I don't trust you, Claire. I don't trust your motive. Is that clear enough my for you? My motives? My motive, my only motive is to protect my daughter. Oh, protect her by breaking up her marriage? I cannot believe that you are the woman in this family that Michelle looks up to. The one that she thinks you should turn to. I've got news for you. You weren't there today. I was. Oh, and you're obviously going to lord that fact over me and milk it for all it's worth. So you can use it to weasel your way into this family just a little bit more. Is that what all of this self-righteousness is all about? I really don't think that you care that much about Michelle. Or about her well-being. I think it's all about you. It's just going to take us some time. It's all just some time to get past this. And we will. When you're feeling better, honey, we'll try again. I don't know if I can think about that right now. Okay, I, I understand. I, I was just... Forget it, forget it. I feel so... empty. And I cannot help but have this awful feeling that this is some kind of a sign. What do you mean? Huh? A sign? A what? sign that, that things are never going to turn out right for us. Michelle? 
is a sign of anything at all. It's just that... It's just that something was wrong with the baby. It's, it's just nature's way of... of taking care of things. You don't think that this was some kind of an omen? Well, no, no, I do not. No, and... by working through this together, it only make us stronger and clearer about what we want and more determined to make that happen. Well, I think that we were under too much stress trying to find out who killed Carmen. And I know how much of a pull that is for you. But honey, you become a different person and I was really scared. And maybe the baby sensed that and that's why. had such a tough year. And now this. I mean, he and Beth were this close to dying in that plane crash. This close, mm -hmm. Rick. Mm -hmm. What is it? What are you thinking? Do you remember, um, after we rescued them, there was that week when Philip went into total shock, and then the months following where he just shut down and I kept begging him to talk to me to, to get it out to share it with me it was the only way he was gonna feel better and he couldn't yeah do you know the only person that he talked to in that time was Beth it seemed like they uh like they wanted to keep what happened between the two of them makes sense to me it does huh? Did you ever see a movie um, called Fearless with Jeff Bridges? I don't know the name of the actress, but anyways, it's about a couple who get in a plane crash together and survive, but they only can talk to each other about it. I mean, do, do you get it? It's like, it's like soldiers who are in battle together or uh, well, well, cops who are partners. I mean, I understand. I do. I, I understand that a bond forms. Right. But back then, when Philip was so distant, I was scared. What were you scared of? You have to understand how I grew up. I mean, without a father, I had some bad relationships, and, you know, there was that thing that happened with Mallet. And uh, I think I have this little problem with trust. Because <laughs> I always think that the more I love somebody, the more I'm sure that they're going to do something to hurt or betray me in some way. <laughs> Carly, that's a... That's an old script you probably should just throw away. Oh, I have. I, I really have. And and Philip and I talked, and we, we worked through all that That's stuff. Right. We did. And and I think we're closer now, and especially since Lizzie got sick. Well, I mean, you, you know, I see that happen all the time at the hospital. Yeah. You know? I mean, tragedy brings people closer mm -hmm. together. And I think Beth's right. I think it's fate that this baby will be the one to save Lizzie's life. I mean, Rick, what are the chances? that a perfect match with a half sibling that's amazing speaking of let's see let's get back to the matter of hand here we we got to find a way to cheer lizzie up right oh now. right <laughs> sorry okay well i think um i think the videos are a very good idea but on the um three stooges sorry well <laughs> i'll try to get past it 
I will. Okay. <laughs> I'll go to the video store and later I'll pick up some, okay. okay? You know what? I need to get back to the hospital. Okay. okay. Hey, what about, um, what about Babe? That's a that good little pig idea. is so cute. That is such a good Oh, a bug's life. She loves it. I mean, she's seen it a million times, but I can get that again. Tom Hanks. That would, uh, Babe. Oh, when he the little horn. Oh, the caviar. Oh, yeah, the caviar. I remember that. That was hysterical. <laughs> was, was, this, this, those are good. I'll get those. All right. See, this is what we need. Yeah. This is what I'm talking this, this about. Will, this will help. Gosh, we could all just use a few laughs. You're right. I gotta go. Okay. The, the baby that Beth is carrying is yours? Why the hell didn't you say something before? Take a wild guess. Oh, oh all right, all right, I, I understand. But, but, but if I'd have known, the chances of a full sibling being a match are so much but greater. Any difference, no? You still would have had to do the amnio to make sure, and then you would have had to wait for the baby to be born to do the transplant. Right? right? But Lizzie took a turn for the worse. Right. And we had to step up the time, too. If Jim had agreed to induce labor, it's... It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. It's it's too late. So look, I'll talk to the OB about inducing labor and uh we'll do the transplant right afterwards. Sleep, right? I'd sing lullabies to him. He's gonna have my name. Oh, God. He let me want him. And he let me love him. And it was just all a lie. It was a lie, but... Straight. You think that I am being selfish because I'm concerned yes, about my daughter? Would you prefer to have her walk headlong into a situation that I think is dangerous? I would prefer that you were an honest person. I am trying to be honest, Abby, but you're not listening to me. You are a lonely woman, Claire. You told me that yourself the first time you met me. And so I really believe that you're trying to make this connection with Michelle because you want to be a part of something. I've never denied that. Yeah, well, you don't want to just be a part of Michelle's life. You want to be a part of Rick's life, too. Oh, that's what this is all about. You think I'm after your husband. No, this is not. I don't think you're trying to take my husband, Claire. I think you want to be a part of Ed Bauer's family. And you feel that somewhere along the line, you had a right to be a part of that family, and you were denied that. Oh, that is such a lie. No, it is not. Now, listen. I heard the way you talked about the annual Bauer barbecue when we were planning it. I saw the way you were looking through the album, looking at the pictures. I enjoyed looking at those pictures. Yeah, I think you enjoyed seeing yourself in each and every one of them. You are really delusional, Abby. If you really loved Michelle. Of course I love Michelle. Well, if you really loved your... I just don't think that you would be trying to break up her marriage. 
She is her soulmate. She is the one person who loves her more than anybody else in the world. And I think that that would hurt her more than anything else. I know how much Michelle loves Danny. And I know how much he claims to love her. I just honestly believe that he is too self-absorbed to have her best interest at heart. You are completely self-absorbed. And I think you're dreaming about having a picture in the album. The doting mother with the perfect daughter. And God help anybody who tries to stop you do that. That is not true. I'm not going to talk to you about this anymore, you know. I'm going to discuss this conversation with Rick. And in the meantime, I suggest you stay away from Danny and Michelle and just let them be. Or then you're going to see me really angry. take orders from anybody, sweetheart. No. I cannot believe that you just did that. Honey, please, lie down. Yeah. No, I should, have, I should have done this earlier. Please, just come Well, what did Carlos say? I didn't give him a chance to say anything. Well, Danny, is he just going to let you walk away like that? It's really, it's not his decision to make, honey. It's not. So... So you're a threat to them now because no. you have information. Look, well, Carla, all he wants is my family's business, and I gave it to him. That's all he's interested in. And and you realize that once you sever your ties with these people, you may never know who killed Carmen. Mm -hmm. Are you are you gonna be able to live with I'm that? I'm the most important thing in my life, and I don't want you to ever doubt that ever again. She's still taking her test. So I don't no, really no, have time. No, no. I, I know you're really busy right now, but there's something it? that I need to tell you that I, I'm just sure you're going to want to what, know. What, what is it, Addie? Eric, your sister. What about her? Michelle had a miscarriage. She lost the baby. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Is she here? No, no, she's at home with Danny. Claire was with her when it happened. And now typical Claire is trying to show what a doting mother she is. And she's making up all of this stuff about Danny being a terrible husband. And that he's been supposedly neglecting Michelle. I told her to back off. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to help. You don't anything. worry about Claire. I'll take care of Claire. left with your ex-husband and you're carrying his kid inside of you. Where I come from, that's pretty much a deal breaker. Look, hey, look, guys. I'm sorry, all, all I've seen you doing is interrupting right yeah, yeah, here. And I apologize. But look, all of this has got to take a back seat to Lizzie's situation right now. Uh, Dr. Cedric needs to see you ASAP. There's some blood work she needs to do before she induces labor tomorrow. 
tomorrow. We're doing this tomorrow. And uh, there's some paperwork for me to fill out. She's expecting us in the office. Can you give me a minute? Is everything all right? No, it isn't. Something that I have to tell you. Guiding Light.